Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and before I go deeper into this video, which will be the first time I ever go deep inside anything, I want to let you guys know that I'm not going to be leaving Overwatch. Overwatch is going to be the one and only game that I post on my channel for a very long time, because surprise, surprise, unlike other content creators, I actually still like Overwatch. To avoid assumptions being made after making this video, I just wanted to be very clear that I'm not going to be leaving one of my favorite video games for a different video game. Even though I'm free to do so and that this is my YouTube channel, I at least want to tell you guys where I stand when it comes to Overwatch because you guys might have heard about this brand new game on the block that is stealing a lot of content creators hearts recently, which is Valorant. So I would understand why you might assume that I would also be one of those content creators that just go and flock to this brand new game. But since you know that me and Overwatch have a really good and healthy relationship, there is no reason for you to think anything other than, yeah, he's going to be posting Overwatch tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day to where if I were to play and even talk about Valorant you would not be surprised or scared or just shun me away which is what I want to do in this video I just want to begin this video by at least being honest with you guys and talking about Overwatch for a little bit letting you guys know that yes I still like it yes I still get pissed off at it mainly I get pissed off at the stupid people but who doesn't get pissed off at the stupid people i.e. me <laughs> but the whole reason for this video is for me not to just go on and on about me not leaving Overwatch but to really yes talk about Valorant and also put a lot of the comparisons to rest when it comes to Valorant and Overwatch and to also give my opinions so that you can get kind of a clear understanding of what this game is and if you will like it because a lot of the times this game was marketed as if this is the next Overwatch game and to my surprise after complaining on Twitter about me watching a bunch of Valorant streams and not getting into the beta I finally got into the beta over this weekend I played Valorant and it really wasn't anything like Overwatch. But you might not know that because it's very hard to get into this beta. So if we're on a clear understanding of where we stand with Overwatch, then you won't be mad at me when you find out that this is me playing Valorant, a different game other than Overwatch, which is the brand new tactical FPS game made by Riot Games. The character that I'm playing is Sage, which is a hero or, or agent that is a cross speed between Mercy and May. Are you surprised that this is the character that I decided to play? <laughs> So Valorant is a video game, and most of the time video games are fun, I come to find out. I've been playing video games longer than you have been alive, and this is an enjoyable game. I'm not going to be talking down on it, but rather just give my honest opinions on what I like and don't like. But the best way I can describe Valorant, which is where you can get a good general opinion on the game, is that it's CSGO with Overwatch waifus. It is 80% CSGO, 20% Overwatch. Like, yes, you got your characters, aka your waifus aka your rule 34 fuel but then you only have your ultimates and your abilities and that's it that's where the overwatch comparison stops and that's where i could really end the video but nobody wants that everybody wants to see me play a different game so we're gonna continue on four the other 80 percent of valorant is just straight up cs go and that's where the comparison of overwatch and valorant really dies out because this is the core of valorant is the gameplay yeah the abilities and the characters can kind of draw that comparison away from cs go but most of the time you're going to be playing as if you're playing cs go so here's what I will say just again to help you get a good opinion about Valorant if you like CSGO or if you're good at CSGO or if you're just somewhat interested in CSGO guess what this game is not only right up your alley but it's basically in your backyard but if you like Overwatch if you like super fast-paced gameplay and you're always in the action you don't have to wait for a respawn and you hate instantly dying because you just took one bullet to the head where you like slow time to kill video games then you're probably not gonna like Valorant because Valorant is like CSGO when it comes to gameplay. It is a strategic, tactical, very slow paced shooter. Now obviously you can go guns blazing into the enemy back lines but more than likely you're not shroud and you're gonna get shot. The way that you maneuver the map in CSGO is the same way that you maneuver the map in Valorant. Very slow, very tactical, you're walking, you're not running, you're checking every single corner because unlike in Call of Duty, camping is kind of encouraged because that's just the way CSGO plays and it's how it's always played since 1.6 and Source. You just got to be very strategic 
strategic and tactical and find the best line of sights to be able to take out your enemy, whether you're trying to defuse the bomb or in Valorant's case, the spike. And then the gunplay. The main reason why you play Valorant is the same exact gunplay in CSGO. Now, not like the exact same encoding, but the same sort of idea. Like where your crosshair is aimed is where the first one or two bullets are gonna go. But then after that, recoil comes into play and it comes into play so hard. Basically, your crosshair has to be like towards the enemy's legs if you want to be able to hit a headshot if you fire more than like five or six bullets, which means just like in CSGO, you got to pull down your mouse or you got to crouch to be a little bit more accurate. This is why I said if you like or if you play a lot of CSGO, it's going to feel right at home. If you play Overwatch, it's going to feel nothing at all like Overwatch because in that game, there is no recoil. There is bullet spread, but with Soldier 70 6 or McCree, we don't have to pull down our mouse or pull down the right stick to be accurate. The crosshair just kind of goes back to the head. But even though I just went on a huge tangent explaining why you need to have godlike aim and Valorant to be able to do good, the one thing that makes this somewhat a tiny bit noob friendly is the Overwatch aspect, of course, because Overwatch is super noob friendly. The abilities and the ultimates. But the thing is though, you can't really win a game of Valorant just using abilities. The main way that you're gonna win a game of Valorant is having godlike aim just like in CSGO. But the abilities do help you, which is why I can definitely see in the future, Valorant being one of those competitive FPS shooters that just have BS abilities that help bad teams win. Just like in Overwatch. Like if you play Raze, which is basically the Junkrat equivalent in Valorant, yeah, you can win a game of Valorant just using her ultimate ability because it is a rocket launcher. She also has C4 that you can get kills with too but you're not gonna rely on your abilities to win you a game of Valorant. That, that's just kind of silly. But the other major part about Valorant that makes it very, very, very similar to CSGO and not at all the equivalent to Overwatch is the fact that this is a search and destroy type game. You only get one life. Once you die, you're not coming back. Unless you get res by Sage, which is the character that I play. <laughs> That's why that slow tactical gameplay is not only encouraged in CSGO, but especially in Valorant, because once you die, there's no coming back. And I absolutely hate that. And this is the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of Valorant, because again, I'm this 10 year old kid that just wants to see action all the time. Does that make Valorant a bad game? No. Does that make me a bad game, old girl? No. Because there are tons of games with both of those formulas that have specific crowds. I mean, CSGO is like the second biggest esport in the whole entire world for the past two decades. So obviously there are tons of people that like that slow tactical shooter type gameplay but I'm not one of them. Now, maybe in the future, my taste for video games can change and maybe I'll actually love that slow paced shooter. But in the past 10 years and in just recent memory, I've always loved fast respawn FPS games. Back in 2008, I absolutely adored Halo 3. I was terrible at it, but once again, very fast paced, very simple type gameplay. And then I graduated to Call of Duty because every 13 year old just always played Call of Duty back in the day. And then I matured a little bit and then I started to play Destiny, where my love for that respawn type gameplay really started to bloom. And then, of course, I went into Overwatch, which is everything that I love in an FPS game bundled it into one single video game. So I think it's safe to say that I really like fast paced video games. And just to prove my point even more as to why I didn't necessarily fall in love with Valorant is that those same video games I listed, specifically Call of Duty and Destiny, has had those tactical slow paced game modes. In Call of Duty, you had Search and Destroy, and in Destiny, you had Trials of Osiris. And I dreaded those game modes, I hated it. Why? Because I just wanna go in. I wanna go and shoot someone in the face because I'm just a 10 year old kid that just always wants to see action and see my gun go boom, 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 boom. I know that just totally made my argument irrelevant because I'm being totally immature, but it's it has some truth to it. Some people just wanna go and shoot things, dude. But does that make Valorant a bad video game? Absolutely not. It's just one of those factors that I know I won't ever be able to change about the game and I'll just have to get used to it if if I want to fall in love with it. It's like falling in love with a girl that is taller than you. You know, does a tall girl make them a bad girl? No, it's just one of those things that if you want to fall in love with this girl, you're gonna have to get used to. I don't like taller girls. That means I don't like non-respawn games. <laughs> that was the worst comparison, but it makes sense. And that's why I just love Overwatch. It's everything that I've ever wanted in an FPS video game. Valorant, it's not everything that I want. It's something that I have fun with, but I 
can definitely see it being one of those games where I play and be like, okay, cool. Going back to Overwatch, like I did this weekend. I played Valorant and I was like, okay, I want to go play some competitive, which is what I did. And that's why I want to make this video to just tell you my perspective on Valorant so that if it matches your perspective, if you've loved like Halo, Destiny, Call of Duty in the past, and you've never played CSGO, you never wanted to get into CSGO, then you know, okay, maybe Valorant isn't for me. Luckily for you, it's a free to play game. You can play it after the beta or maybe it'll be an open beta soon enough. But as of right now, it's one of those things where you don't have to lose sleep over if you've never played CSGO and never been interested. And that's my final judgment. So, anyway guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And only Overwatch videos to come. And bye.